Welcome back, it's Carl here. And today in SQL, we're gonna be going over the group by statement. The group by statement is often used with aggregate functions, such as count, max, min, sum, average, to group the result set by one or more columns. Today, we're just gonna be working on one column. So let's go ahead and set this up. First thing we're gonna do is go select all from sales we're going to be using our sales tables today we're going to select all f5 all right so by doing this the first thing we notice is we have 10 rows we have our amounts we have our card types and we have store categories now we want to go ahead and get into the group by let's go ahead and start with count all right for count the following sql statement is going to list the number of ids in each store category so if you look down here, we have 10 IDs and we have store categories, but we don't have 10 store court categories that are unique. We actually have some store categories that repeat themselves. So that is going to give us our unique value or distinct value. So let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to say select count, open and close those parentheses. We want to put an ID. Then we're going to go comma because we're looking at both the ID and the store category. So store category. And then we're going to say from sales. And then we're going to group by because we want to group this by store category. And then let's come here, execute it. Now that we've done that, we see that we now have a count of our ID with store category. So basically, if we have one dealership, two electronics, two grocery stores, one miscellaneous, one online, and then we have three retail stores. And how do we know this? So if we come back up here and do an F5 on that, we see we have two electronic stores, which is two electronic stores. We have, where's our dealership? We have one dealership. So you see we have one dealership. We have two grocery stores. One, two grocery stores. We have one miscellaneous right here. We have one online store, which uh, yep was number 10, yep. And then for retail, we have three stores. So one, two, three. So three retail stores. So that is how the group and count works. So let's go ahead and get into the next one, which will be max. All right, so for max, the following SQL statement lists the max of amount in the store category. So in order to do this, we're basically gonna be, be, we're gonna be looking at this. So in order to set this up, let's just go ahead and say, select all. For this following SQL statement in max of amount in the store category, what it's gonna be doing is it's gonna be giving us the max value. So remember in the first one we had to count and it counted the number of dealerships, retail stores, grocery stores, and electronic stores. What this SQL statement is gonna do for the group by is basically give us the max amount. So the max amount for electronics, the max amount for grocery store, the maximum amount for retail store, dealership, and so on. So let's go ahead and set this up by saying select max I'm going to go by amount store category from sales I'm going to group by store category my fat fingered that one so we're going to grab this hit f5 and now we see and let's just do this as well let's go ahead and say as max amount so our column has a name so we'll execute that so now we'll see our max amount 
for a dealership electronic grocery store miscellaneous online and retail store and remember what it's doing is giving us that distinct value so that we're not getting those duplicate store categories we're just getting the max amount from each store category so if we go ahead and do both of these statements together we'll start to see what the max amount looks like so in dealership we get our max amount at five thousand because dealership only shows up once in electronics we get our max amount at three thousand because remember in the electronics we have this one and we have this one and the max is three thousand so that's how we get three thousand back in grocery store we have twelve hundred and up here we have 500 here and we have 1200 here so it's going to give us that max amount and that's how that max amount group by works in SQL let's go ahead and get to the next one and that is the min amount we don't really have to rewrite anything here let's just simply come here to max and change it to min and we're going to come here and change this to min and then we're just going to change the instruction so it makes sense all right, so the following SQL statement lists the min of amount in a gross in a store category. So let's just go ahead and set this up. So we'll just go ahead and select everything from here, and then we'll just talk through this. So same thing, but now it's just looking for that min amount. The min amount in dealership will be five thousand. Why? Because dealership only shows up one time, and the minimum amount for dealership is five thousand. And then if we go to, let's just go to our grocery store. Remember our grocery store showed up twice, but we had one that was 500. And then we had another one that was 1200 and the minimum was 500. So that's how that min amount works in our SQL statement. Let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Sum. Let's go ahead and select all from here. Remember, no, no need to rewrite this. We'll just go sum here. We're gonna go sum here and then we can just say sum I was gonna to say total but sum is all the same so right now the following SQL statement list is going to list the sum of amount in the store category so basically what this means is it's gonna take the sum of amount grouped by the store category and just add things up so it's going to give us the distinct store category value, but instead of giving us the max or the min or count, it's going to give us the grand total, which is the sum. So let's go ahead and run this. And let's run it all together so we can just look at the differences. So if we come here now, we can see where electronics is 4,500 versus the max or the min. It basically just adds everything up in electronics. So we got 3,000 and then we got 1,500 and that gives us the total sum of 4,500. The same as grocery store, it takes everything from grocery store and says 500 plus 1,200 and then it gives us that sum, 1,700. So that's how the sum group by statement works in SQL. Last but not least, let's do the average. So we're gonna change this to average And then I'm going to put here average and then we'll just do all of this together and now we'll get the average then if we look at electronics what this average statement is doing is adding a group of numbers and then dividing by the count of those numbers so we have electronics at 225 we have electronics at 2250 then we have grocery store at 850 because it's basically like I said it's taking a group of numbers and dividing by the count of those numbers so that is how you get your average and in your group by statement and now you know how to use your group by statement is equal